Good morning and welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. It's getting close, isn't it? We are running out of days. Um, today is Sunday. Um, I am currently in the garage, which is freezing cold. I do have my little halogen heater on down here, um, but it doesn't do much. I really do need to order some big electric radiator style things. <laughs> Um, I am packing up your amazing orders from Friday's shop update. So thank you very much to everyone that ordered self-striping and any other extra bits and pieces you ordered. Um, I am packing them up today, even though it's Sunday, because I want to get them out first thing Monday morning. So hopefully they'll get to you in time for Christmas, because that would be a nice Christmas treat, wouldn't it? Um, I'm going to hand over to Tom for the morning because he is making a Christmas pudding. Now we hadn't intended to make a Christmas pudding, but unfortunately with um, the new COVID strain and everything that's going on with cases changing, my aunt, who was supposed to be coming over from France to join us for Christmas, is no longer able to make it because France have imposed travel restrictions. Um, so she can't make it and she was making the Christmas pudding. <laughs> so not a big miss you know I, I would much rather have my aunt there obviously and um, I'm far more disappointed about her not being able to make it than I am about the Christmas pudding not being able to make it um, but Tom has made Christmas puddings in the past so he has offered to quickly knock up a Christmas pudding so that we will have one homemade for Christmas Day so I thought well that's something festive that he can deal with while I pack orders so he's gonna share he's gonna share Christmas pudding making with you I'm not sure if any of what I just said made sense I really don't know but anyway um I wanted to update quickly on how our charity I don't quite know what to call it collection donations is building um, so if you haven't remembered or you've missed the, but missed where I've mentioned it throughout the month of December all of the revenue that I generate through my YouTube channel will be going to um, our local food bank um, so if you're able to help with that then all you need to do is literally watch the ads at the beginning and the end of the videos let them run while you make your cup of tea um, and it all helps towards the amount of revenue that we earn throughout the month of December which will be going to charity and as of this morning when I checked we're currently at about 86 pounds so I would love to make it to 100 pounds before the end of the month um, so we're very very close um, so please keep watching those ads because you're doing a wonderful job <laughs> right I really need to pack these orders um, I'm gonna go get a cup of tea and then carry on packing orders and hopefully not turn into an ice cube. Okay, hello. Um, so um, I've been tasked with um, uh, vlogging about um, cooking the Christmas pudding. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of run you through the, the recipe quickly and the ingredients, um, and then we'll get stuff mixing. Okay, so this is the recipe um, here. So it's from uh, Nigel Slater's, um, ooh, if it, there you go, The Christmas Chronicles. Um, and um, I, I mostly follow it, but um, adapt it slightly. Um, so these are the ingredients we've got. So we've got some breadcrumbs, uh, we've got some dark brown, soft brown sugar, uh, we've got some suet, uh, we have an apple, which will, will grate up, um, we have a, an orange, um, which we will um, zest and juice, um, we have some mixed spice, um, we have the mixed fruit that um, I made last night, 
um, which is sultanas, raisins, figs, candied peel and uh, cherries. Um, so the um, Slater's recipe originally used its apricots as well, but who likes apricots? It's a waste of time at Christmas. So I've replaced the apricots with more figs, because figs are the best. Um, and then we've got some eggs and some flour. Um, and then we're just going to mix all this up um, and put it in and put it in this nice jar, this nice um, basin um, over here. Um, so normally I would uh, truss this up fancy uh, with greaseproof paper and foil and a nice bit of string um, before steaming it uh, but unfortunately we don't have any greaseproof paper um, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit I'm just gonna use some um, some cling film and, and, and then foil um, not cheating as much as Nigel Slater of course because um, his recipe recommends using a basin with a lid um, but there we go. So we'll get this on steaming and it needs to steam for a, a good number of hours um, and then it'll be all ready um, to save for Christmas Day. Okay, so we've got our water steaming um, and we've got our pudding um, all ready to go. I realised I did need some string because um, I need to be able to pick it up um, to put it in and out of the water. Um, but I didn't have any string. Uh, but fortunately, um, I know somebody who has um, a lot of yarn so in it goes um, and if you're interested this is just uh, some some merino nylon um, that I've kind of multiplied up to make it nice and strong um, let's hope it survives the steaming process so this needs to go on for about three hours um, so I'll just get the lid on nice and cozy um, and three hours later uh, we'll see what comes out Time for the joke of the day. <laughs> the joke of the day. <laughs> what do cows do for fun? I don't know. They go to the movies. 
<laughs> Good afternoon. Um, I've just escaped upstairs to the bedroom to come and open my advent calendars in peace and quiet and just to say hello really because um, you've had Tom most of the day making Christmas pudding although I've just edited all the footage that he took and he did such a good job of recording for me so it that's been brilliant it's made made sure I had time to get all of the um, self-striping orders packed so that they can get to the post office first thing tomorrow morning um, and the kids have had a lovely lazy quiet day um, they're still in their pajamas even though it's nearly half past five <laughs> although they are both gonna have a bath tonight so don't worry <laughs> in any way that they've been in their pajamas all day um, and um, yeah they've just been watching TV they've been playing on their switches they've done quite a lot of coloring actually which has been really really nice um, they're currently obsessed <laughs> with this YouTube video this YouTube channel where this woman repaints squishy little stress toy things and I sat down and watched a few with them this afternoon and it's very addictive to watch it is dreadfully addictive she just yeah she just takes these squishy um, like stress toy creatures and animals and food and all kinds of things that come in stress toy squishy shapes and gives them like fixes them up and gives them all paint jobs gives them makeovers and it's amazing <laughs> I don't know why I wasted so much time watching it but I thoroughly enjoyed myself um let's open some advents shall we okay so I have my number 19 of my scrappy one which is this color here I think it is going to be a kind of self-striping now I was having some focus issues because I'm too far away from the camera to touch the screen to change the focus there we go <laughs> um it's gonna be fun I think it's like a grey and rainbow self-striping so I think it'll be really interesting to see how this crochets up into my blanket and I also got some vampire a vampire teeth progress keeper Let's see if I can share this with you I'm gonna focus No. Come on, camera. No, it's not going to focus. Hang on. There we go. Let's try that. There we go. Can you see the vampire teeth? They're super fun. <laughs> okay, that one took far too long to share, thanks to... Um, Oh, I'm still getting used to the focus on this new camera. You'd think, wouldn't you, that nearly a month of vlogging with it and I would have it down by now, but um, not quite yet. So, the next one is my um, nerdy advent from Bumbling Yarns, which is a beautiful blue and red. Look at that. That's got to be a Superman reference, hasn't it? I'm not sure, I haven't looked up the um, reference for today's one. It's kind of quite a fun extra. It's like it's like having a little um, game of riddles with your advent calendar with this one because I have to look up the reference and then I have to decipher the reference. And of course, sometimes there's references that I don't get which I then have to look up and try and work them out, which is, which is quite fun. It definitely adds an extra layer of, mu of amusement when I'm opening my advent calendars. Um, and then my Corner of Craft advent calendar. Um, so the, D the Dungeons and Dragons Chromatic Yarns inspired one. Ooh, that's pretty as well. Look at this one. Again, I've forgotten what the reference was today. I looked it up before I came upstairs and I still can't remember. But it's very, very pretty. I can't wait to get these laid out together and have a think about what project I'm going to do. And then finally, my Henny Penny Makes advent calendar. Ooh, get the little card. The colourway is called Doof Doof. I need to look at the reference card for that one. <laughs> it's very pretty. I think I'm going to take these down um, to Cornwall with me over Christmas. Um, and then if I get time, I might start crocheting up some of the squares for my advent blanket. So this one is Inspiration TV Soaps. Ah, oh, it's like the, the noise at the end of EastEnders. 
Um, if you're a fan of TV soaps, then you probably eagerly await their Christmas Day climax of dramatic storylines. Each year, the plots seem to get more and more extreme, with the soaps competing for the most dramatic episode. This Christmas Day tradition began with the 1986 episode when Den surprised Angie with divorce papers after discovering her lies. This episode had the show's highest number of viewers, over 30 million. Do you watch any soaps? I watch Casualty, as I've mentioned earlier this month, but that's the only kind of um, ongoing serial drama soap-esque thing that I really watch. Um, I don't really watch any of the soaps. I used to watch EastEnders when I was younger, um, but yeah. Do you watch soaps? <laughs> I don't know. Um, right. That's his adverts. Let me quickly share my um, corner to corner crochet blanket with you. Whoops. Which, as I said, is up to date, ready for me to add in um, today's mini. I need to sort out a couple of ends and stuff, but look, it's definitely growing, isn't it? Look at that. I'm so pleased that I've kept up to date with it. Still haven't quite decided if I'm going to be able to put it away until next advent <laughs> or whether I'm just going to keep adding like five gram minis into it. I really don't know. Um, but I am absolutely loving it. So if I can give you a bit more of a close up of it. I'm really pleased. And holding it with the um, undyed yarn is really, really helping to kind of mute down some of those darker minis. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So happy with it. I kind of want to sit down and add the next one in now, but I mustn't, I mustn't. Right, that's pretty much it today for today. Today's vlog, very much a emergency Christmas pudding and a bit of advent chat. Um, but I will see you all again tomorrow. I've forgotten what I'm recording for tomorrow. Oh, I, th oh no, nope, I've definitely forgotten what I'm recording for tomorrow. I've got it written down somewhere and you'll find out when you watch tomorrow's vlog. <laughs> so we'll just go with that. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>